What's up guys? So, here today, just left the office. I'm headed to Lowe's to get some things for a couple of uh, small projects around the house. Thought I would stop in and say hi to you guys, see how everybody's week's going. Um, go ahead and answer a quick question real quick. I am not here to talk about mine and couponing girls relationship coming to an end. Um, quite frankly, that's none of y'all's business. I understand you're subscribers to me and her, and we both appreciate that. And, you know, what I will tell you is Stephanie is a wonderful, wonderful woman. One of the smartest, funniest, most beautiful, generous women I've ever had the pleasure of knowing in my life and her kids are equally so and it hurt to to part ways with her but as much as we hated to do that it, it's what had to be done that's all I'm going to say about it I don't expect that she'll say anything about it at all um, but she's an outstanding human being and I wish nothing but happiness for her and those kids and you noticed I don't entertain your comments delete them I delete them off of her videos too because I'm still a mod on her channel unless she takes me off but between me and Barbie and a couple others we delete all your negative crap pretty quick so you know we, I appreciate that you're interested in our personal lives because we do put stuff out here on YouTube but you know for those of you that stalk our Facebook pages and, and YouTube pages to get that kind of information. I just, y'all don't have like a TV show you like to watch? You know, you don't have a TV show that you like to tune into and keep up with? You gotta try and pry into our personal life like that? Stuff that, you know, stuff we want to keep private that doesn't really pertain to you guys at all? For those of you who are nice on our channels, thank you. For those of you who are supportive, thank you to from both of us. Um... Like I said, Stephanie's an incredible woman, and she deserves every ounce of happiness that life has to offer. And while I hate that that can't be with me, um, we're both understanding of the reasons why we've parted ways, and, and we both wish the best for one another. And, and it, it hurts. It does. I mean, it hurts like crazy, but... I, um, I swear that guy blew a tire. Um, yeah, so that's all I'm going to say about it. Um, so yeah, your your hateful comments, your your hurtful question comments, type things, they're not tolerated on my channel. They're not tolerated on hers. Like her mods are really active and the couple of them on, on my channel are really active too and you know for the most part we all care about one another uh, well enough and, and strong enough that we're not going to put up with that kind of crap so just keep that shady stuff to yourselves I mean you don't like the content I post you don't like the content she posts don't don't watch us don't subscribe like just go find something else to do because I really don't understand that I mean you know, what What gives you the right? I'm just curious. Because us putting our stuff out there for the amount that we did definitely doesn't give you the right to judge our relationship on any level of the imagination in my head. But, all that aside, um, I've got a lot of free time to myself now. So, I spent a lot of time with my dogs this week and to start on some projects that I've been neglecting around my house, especially now that I'll be living there for a while. Um, I'm going hiking with my scout group this Saturday. That should be fun. We're doing a, about a five and a half mile hike in the Big South Fork area. Um, pretty excited about that. Um, we have over a hundred Cub Scouts in our pack now, which is insane. It's huge. Um, so, super excited to go hiking. That's that's kind of my happy space. Hiking and canoeing are, are really my two things that I enjoy the most uh, for outdoor recreation time. Followed very closely by camping. But, you know, normally if I'm going hiking or canoeing, there's might be some camping involved with that activity. But we'll be hiking this Saturday. Sunday, I'll... 
probably head on down to my hometown and, and see my grandparents if they're not camping this weekend and maybe even spend a little time with my nephew. Um, that, that would be fun. I miss him like crazy. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of my plans for the weekend. Might take a couple days off work next week and go spend with my dad. Um, I'm going to talk to my neighbor and see if she would mind to keep an eye on my, my dogs for a couple of days if I were to skip town. But my boss has been on vacation all week. He's been in Florida enjoying some much needed time off. He and I have been working, he mostly, but he and I have been working pretty hard uh, the last two and a half months, almost three months. To uh, we, we took over our 911 dispatch from the county. Uh, July 1st under what we call the Emergency Communications District. Oh, excuse me. And uh, it's just really been a, not a chore, but it's been a lot of work um, converting policies and procedures and standard operating procedures and incident binders and all that kind of stuff and converting all that from one entity to another it doesn't sound like it would be a lot but it's it's taxing it's taxing on the eyes too i mean stare at your computer that long for that many days straight i mean that's i hadn't had to do that in a while i mean with the scouts i i was on the computer quite a bit for the scouts but it was um the hotel business i was in front of the computer for eight hours a day sometimes more and it's taxing on your eyes after a while oh excuse me haven't been sleeping well the last few days um, on the upside too uh, I don't I've not really talked about my weight loss journey a lot on this channel because I haven't posted a lot of content yet but um, I started the year at 249 and a half ish pounds I, I never really crested the 250 marker if I did I didn't weigh myself that day um, and I always promised myself I would never let myself get that big like I always said you're never gonna get to 250 you know, you're just putting on a little weight here and there, but you're never going to get to 250. So when I hit that 249 mark, I said, it's time for a change. And so I I have lost now just over 40 pounds this year. Um, I can't really tell where I've lost it from because I don't really feel any skinnier, but scales don't lie, I guess. And it's multiple scales, not just mine. Um, so I'm down to... Excuse me again. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm down to about 208. Um, I have the intent to be under 200 by my birthday, which is October 3rd. So it gives me about three weeks to lose nine pounds, which shouldn't be that difficult. Uh, I'm kind of doing my own version of this intermittent fasting thing. I don't really have an explanation of how I'm doing it. I just, I literally don't eat until I get hungry. And then I'll eat a pretty big size meal and... Uh, <laughs> And then I won't eat again until I get hungry again. So it's been working out pretty well so far. I mean, that's so at the beginning of the year, I gave up soda uh, the first of the year. And I have not had a Coke since. I've had one and a half Sprites since then. And it was pretty much my only option at that time uh, was to drink a Sprite. And I kind of had to force myself to drink it. It wasn't very good. Um, I've been drinking these Gatorade Zeros. They are the bomb. If you guys haven't tried them yet, give them a try. I don't like the orange, but I don't like orange flavored drinks unless it's orange juice. And I don't like the white one, the, the black cherry flavored or whatever cherry flavored. I don't like either one of those. Uh, let's see. February 1st, I gave up processed pasta, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but I was eating pasta three or four times a week. Uh, it was nothing for me to kill a box of macaroni and cheese by myself. And, I mean, I'll still eat it every now and then. Like, if I go out to eat with my family or something, my family loves Olive Garden. And I'm not going to be rude and be like, no, let's go somewhere else. And, you know, but if I'm, in, if I'm there, I'm going to have ravioli or chicken parmesan with uh, spaghetti and marinara. But, you know, I don't, uh, I don't really, I try not to give myself that opportunity too often. Sorry, I'm pulling into the Lowe's parking lot. Um, and then March 1st, I gave up fast food, which I've recently started to allow back into my diet on a very small level. So I think that in moderation has helped me continue to lose the weight. But I attribute a lot of it to the Gatorade Zero. Like I, I drink Gatorade Zero and water and the occasional juice. 
um, every now and then. And of course, you know, I'll, I'll have a glass of wine every now and then, which is very few and far between for me. Um, I have a lot of bourbon in my house that I normally use just to cook with, but on a, the very, very rare occasion, as in I don't remember the last time I had a glass of bourbon, I mean, it's probably been before before Stephanie and I ever got together. So it's, it's been over a year and a half ago, I think, that I would have even had a sip of bourbon. Um, or when I go up with my friends, I might have a margarita. But, you know, for me, it's, it's all moderate. Like, I don't, um, it's not that I don't enjoy a drink. It's just that I don't really, I don't really get anything out of it. I love the flavor of margarita, though. Like, I like virgin margaritas where you just take the mix and put it on ice with, uh, some extra, some kind of juice or something. Like, I just like that flavor, like that lime and tangy flavor. But at any rate, I am getting ready to go into Lowe's. Excuse me. My gosh. I'm going to grab a few things for some DIY projects. I got some little nicks and holes in my walls where the dogs have gotten a little rambunctious or where I have uh, hit the wall with furniture, moving it around and, you know, knocked a little hole down near the baseboards or something. I'm going to patch all those. I'm going to be repainting my bathroom uh, downstairs next week, and I'll probably touch up the bathroom upstairs. The upstairs bathroom has not <laughs> has not been used in... Two, almost two years almost two years uh, since my ex and, and her kids moved out uh, I have not I've not really used the upstairs bathroom for anything which is kind of silly because I live upstairs but I use the downstairs bathroom but I guess it's just habit because um, I gave the upstairs bathroom to my ex and her daughter and then uh, the son and I used the downstairs bathroom because where his bedroom was um, didn't matter, doesn't matter to me either way but uh, I'm going to redo that bathroom upstairs. Part two of the tiles have ripped up, so i got to redo those. And it's, the, the tile looks... It's like the house is settled and that tile has spread a bit. So I'm going to redo that, uh, touch up the paint around the ceiling joints, and um, paint behind where the mirror used to hang, and then uh, put new lights in the light fixture and... That'd probably be it for that room. Uh, my landlord wants to replace all the windows and the siding on that house sometime in the next couple months. So I'm, I'm hoping that we can get that scheduled and get that squared away because that would be awesome. Uh, let's see, what else am I going to do? Patch the holes. I've scraped all of the... Uh, excuse me again, I'm sorry guys. I've scraped all the, uh, the textured ceiling stuff that's you know people put on their ceilings, little popcorn type of stuff. I've scraped all that off out of every room but my bedroom and the uh, stairwell ceiling because it's like 18 feet tall and I don't have a, uh, a set of scaffolding or anything that I can get to it that's stable enough for me to, to scrape it off. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do there. I'm not going to let that be the only place in the house that still has that god-awful stuff on it. So I'm going to start painting those ceilings uh, this week and I, I keep saying I'm going to do it and I never do it because it really hurts my shoulder. Um, I don't know if I've let you guys in on that. I've got to, this shoulder has been surgically reconstructed twice. Um, and it's, I mean, it's pretty painful all the time, but especially when I do a lot of manual, I'm not scared of manual labor. I can outwork anybody that I've ever met outside of, you know, my dad and my granddad. I've never met a man I can't outwork. Um, I mean, I'll pay for it the next day, I'm sure, but, you know, no stranger to hard work. I'm not afraid of it. Um, you know, I've slung hay bales a couple of times. I have, um, you know, there's several things I've done once that I wouldn't care to do again, but I would do again if I had to. Um, you know, none, none of that kind of stuff matters to me. I'll, I'll do anything to make, to make the ends meet. So I'm going to get in here and get what I need. And, uh, if I end up with a lot of stuff, maybe I'll do a haul video for you guys. Uh, if not, I will, um, I'll holler at you guys later on something else. But uh, maybe I'll do a cooking video in the morning. I'm going to be cooking for my dispatch team in the morning. We're going to have some stuffed French toast and bacon and eggs. And um, They've been asking me to cook them breakfast on their side because I cooked for the, the B side already. I cooked them breakfast about a month ago on a Saturday. And I'm going to take my A side breakfast in the morning. So 
Uh, maybe I'll do a video in the morning for you guys if I'm not too tired. <laughs> anyway, I hope y'all have had a blessed week. Um, hope y'all have got some fun stuff planned for the weekend. Like I said, appreciate y'all subscribing. Appreciate y'all watching. But when it comes to Stephanie and I, you've got all the information you're going to get from us. And we would appreciate your compassion and your understanding and that we don't want to talk about it. Okay, guys? Uh, we love you, and we'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.